Randy Lewis and his team at Utah State are creating the key ingredient for the world's first, real life, indestructible skin. This groundbreaking project had much more humble beginnings. Lewis simply wanted to see what substances could be made using one of the toughest natural materials found on Earth. Sleek, smooth spider silk. Spider silk is composed almost entirely of protein. It's about three times stronger than Kevlar and about 10 times stronger than steel and more elastic than nylon. The problem is spiders are cannibalistic and territorial. They'd kill each other before producing an ounce of silk. So Lewis and his team improvised, transferring the gene that produces the spider silk protein into a goat. The hope is that the milk from the mutant goat would produce the powerful protein. We do is just grow large amounts of that spider silk gene. Then we cut the gene, we splice it into the goat DNA, and we splice it together. Then we take that and transplant that embryo into a goat. And if you're lucky, the goat ends up with a baby goat that now has the spider silk DNA in it. When the mutant female goat matures, it produces milk rich in spider silk proteins. Harvesting the silk becomes as simple as purifying the protein and spinning it into fiber tougher than Kevlar. So there was a lot of interest in using it for the military, looking at bulletproof vests for protection in helmets. The material had incredible possibilities. But the real breakthrough came when a Dutch bio artist concocted a brilliant and bizarre idea. Halila Esaidi devised a plan using Lewis's spider silk to engineer human skin that could stop a bullet. I have to say that initially I was a little skeptical but there certainly was a drive on her part to make this work. We provided the artist with spider silk fabric. Then her collaborators actually grew the skin layers on top of that fabric in culture with Petri dishes. The end fabric was tested by putting it on the top of the sick gel, and they shot a bullet through it. Yeah, go deep. And the bullet actually went into the gel, but didn't penetrate the skin and didn't break the fabric. Basically, it absorbed all the energy of the bullet without breaking the skin. Imagine zipping up a suit of bulletproof skin, or genetically engineered humans whose skin is fortified by those spider silk proteins. 